Hi everyone, and welcome to the first video of the Plates and Dates channel. My name is Sean. And I'm Tanya. So today we are going to talk about how to get Married Aid Certificate in Thailand, especially when your country doesn't have an embassy in Thailand. Right, so we first started our process in November of 2020, and uh, at the time we were scrambling to find information about how it worked, what you needed, and we couldn't really find anything substantial. Um, we finally finished everything and got married about three days ago. And many of our friends and uh, acquaintances have requested that we make a video just detailing uh, how it worked and what we did. Now, please bear in mind, it's not gonna be the same for every country. I am from Namibia, which is an African country. So I had to go through a lot more red tape than someone from the States would for example. Another thing to bear in mind is that each province in Thailand uh, has different regulations. So before you start your process with your significant other, it's best that you get in touch with one of the uh, district offices in the province that you're in. That being said, let's get started. Now the first problem we ran into is that Namibia does not have an embassy in Thailand. Now, if you're in the same boat, you're going to have to find the nearest country that has an embassy from your home country and also from Thailand. It's also going to rack up the cost considerably as uh, you're going to have to hire couriers to deliver the documents between the embassies and also finally back to Thailand. And you're probably also going to have to wait longer for your home embassy to request the documents from your home country. Now, if you have an embassy in Thailand, fantastic. Uh, you're in luck because uh, you can actually deliver the documents yourself, saves costs, and you don't have to make international phone calls. Now, when starting the process, the Thai government requires that you have the following documents. Uh, the first one is a marital status declaration letter. And it's just a letter from your country stating that you are not currently married and uh, that if you have been divorced, that you've been divorced for at least six months. That's very, very important. The second document that you require is a marital status affirmation letter. And it is a letter that basically details your name, um, the name of your mother and father, uh, I think jobs as well. Uh, jobs, that's a jobs and salary. Um, the name and address of your fiance and basically when you are planning on getting married. Now we have attached a link in the description that basically uh, takes you to a perfect example of what the document should look like. The third document that you require is a certified copy of your passport. Now because of this lovely COVID crisis that we found out, find ourselves in, um, I had the issue where I could not take my passport to the Namibian Embassy in Malaysia so they had to then uh, double check with home affairs in my country and that it, it takes um, a bit longer. Uh, and then the, the final document that you require is a criminal record check from your country. Now please bear in mind all of these documents that I mentioned are only valid for three months. So you have to try and get, or uh, try and finish the process, exactly, before those documents expire. Right, because it is more than three months, you have to do everything all over again. And you don't want to do that. Yeah. Okay, next we're going to talk about the process that we have to do. If you have an embassy in Thailand, it's much easier than us because you just go to an embassy and after you get all the documents, you or have to get a translator, translate everything, and then just go to consular to approve it. So we weren't that lucky, as I said before. Um, my embassy is located in Malaysia. So basically, um, how that works is you request the documents from your embassy, and you will also send uh, all the required documents that you have uh, to them. Now, once they've received all the documents, uh, they need to stamp it with the official seal uh, of your country. It's very, very important. Um, after that, those documents then need to be sent to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in uh, the country of the country that both embassies are located. Um, they will then review the documents and put their stamp on it. 
Now this can take anything uh, from two hours to a day. But uh, a very important thing to note, the same person that drops off the documents needs to pick them up again. Uh, they won't give it to anyone else, so just please uh, bear that in mind. After the documents have been picked up from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, they need to be sent to the Thai Embassy. The Thai Embassy will again review the documents and then put a stamp on basically granting permission for these documents to be used in Thailand. Yeah. Um, now, in our case, we were lucky enough that we didn't have to hire a courier to take the documents between um, my, my embassy, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Thai embassy. Uh, my embassy was nice enough to arrange a driver, but uh, it might rack up the costs again if you need to organize your own courier. Again, the same rule applies though. The same person that you put in the um, booking or the appointment booking, that same person needs to pick up or drop off and pick up the documents again. Uh, also, there is a fee involved. I think we paid about 20 Malaysian ringgit at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs per document and then 50 Malaysian ringgit um, at the Thai Embassy. So that was about 800 baht at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and 2,000 baht at the Thai Embassy. So please yeah. budget for that. Yeah. Finally, uh, those documents then need to be taken back to the Embassy of your home country and you will then need to arrange uh, a courier to bring those documents back to Thailand. Now we paid about 1,200 baht for that. Uh, it takes about uh, half a week to a week for the documents to arrive. But again, the documents are only valid for three Two months. months. Yeah. So you have to really be on the ball and plan very, very carefully. Yeah, in, in our case, we hire the Chanel company because I can email everything from Thailand online. They have a DHL card website, this and that, and we can make an appointment and set the date that when uh, you want Korea to pick up our documents. So uh, it's easy for us and because our DHL company can like they also the rebuilding vegan so it's yeah, the fastest way for us yeah we, we definitely didn't, didn't have a lot of issues with it um just make sure that you are uh, in contact with your embassy but you tell them beforehand when the dhl courier is going to pick it up you also need to give them uh, i think it's the order number the tracking number and the order number because sometimes the couriers will arrive at the embassy and they, the DHL would not have given them your name so they will ask for the number and if the embassy doesn't have the number uh, they cannot hand over the documents. So you understand now why you don't want to do this whole process over, over and over again. again. Yeah, not end yet. <laughs> I'm going to tell the process after we get all those documents. Okay, after you obtain this clearance or process, um, what cases are it? Um, an affirmation of freedom to marry, you have to get this document to translate it. I suggested you to hire a professional translator because they have to certify that uh, this document correct translate. And it costs about 400 to 600 per page. And we have four documents, so it costs about uh, 2,400. And after that, you have to bring this document to liberalize. Um, we, we have two offices in Thailand. You have to go to the Department of Consular on Dangwatnat Road or at MRT Commissary. We decided to do it at MRT Commissary. Yeah, the, the MRT Kongtoy station is it's pretty quiet, uh, you will drop off the documents and I think you'll wait about half a day. We, we drop them off at around 11 in the morning and uh, we pick them up again at, uh, at 2pm to 3pm in, in the afternoon. So it, 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 it doesn't take that it's long. So long. But, but it depends, uh, the first time we drop it, uh, they took a day 
we, we dive out in, in one day and take it out in another day. Right. And yeah, uh, we have to pay 400 baht for a page for a photo fee. And, and here's the thing, sometimes they have to correct some translation on your paper. It's like, it's, it's a bit pit, petty, but... <laughs> yeah, the thing is you've got, you've got several lawyers working at uh, those offices and uh, their job is basically just to go through all the documentations to make sure that they've been translated into Thai properly. But yeah. the wording has to be very, very yes. precise. Yes. So you guarantee you're going to have to go there several times because you'll pick up the document, they'll say, oh, you need to change this and make yes. these edits and these edits. And it can be a bit frustrating and that is why we recommend you hire a professional translator. translator. Cough up the money, it'll be worth it in the end. Yeah, and if you hire the professional translator, they will collect it for free. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, finally we are going to the last step. When our documents are in place, now we can make our marriage registration done at um, Thai office district in, in Thai court case or on her. Uh, normally we have to drop the document for a month to two months. Yeah, and they will make an appointment for you again to, to sign on the paper. And again, those months to two months um, again fall into the three months document validity period so yes. you know, plan carefully. Yes, but if you want to make a process charter or faster, I recommend you to hire an agent to help you about that. Now, um, unfortunately, uh, certain uh, members from certain countries have to pay more than others. Um, as I said before, I'm from an African country and uh, there's a lot more red tape and they charged us a considerable amount. Um, right. There was about, I think in total, we paid about 30,000 baht yes. uh, just to get to it get done it in time because otherwise we, we would have had to do it all over again. So it's, it's, it's how the system works. It's not fair, but um, it's just one of those things. It, it, it's pointless uh, getting riled up about it. But right here, we, if you have an embassy in Thailand, maybe you can wait for one or two months. And um, and if you hire an agent, it's much cheaper. Uh, it can cost about 8000 to 15000 It depends on the district and the period of time that you want. Yeah. And uh, at the day that you go to make the marriage certificate, you have to bring two witnesses with you and a translator. But because we hire an agent, so we don't be bothered with those process. Yeah, it, it, it's going to cost you more, but it does simplify the process a lot. Uh, we didn't have to wait that long either. I think we waited uh, about an hour, hour and a half, yeah. and it was all done. You take a picture with your marriage certificate, and you, yeah, you walk out of the office um, being married. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, finally you make it done. Okay, I guess in the next video we are going to talk about the marriage visa because yeah after you have the marriage certificate you can stay in Thailand longer yeah and um, about how to make the, the card for for your spouse that uh, you can use it like an identity card in Thailand right so we, we really hope this was uh, useful and that you can benefit from it uh, as we said before, it is a very long process, it can be a very frustrating process and uh, we, we sympathize with anyone that has to go through this. It's, um, I think it, we, we've seen couples left in tears because of it, so it's, it's not right. fun. Right. Um, but good luck to all of you. Please uh, stay tuned for our next video detailing the marriage visa and uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, and if you have any questions, don't forget to make it on the comment below and give us the support by click the like button and share it to anyone that may be useful from this video. Yeah, let's, let's help each other out. I think, I think it's necessary. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks everyone.